Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's see what's going on with you when it comes to love. So we have fear. Divine timing. Some of you may be fearful of the future. I feel like, you know, I get the message that the universe has got you. That's what I'm hearing. The universe got you. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's just patience needed. That's all. Like there's no need for fear. There's just a need for patience. We have spiritual awakening. We have truth. So the truth is coming out about something in divine timing. A lot of you may be going through some kind of spiritual awakening. There may be a lot of fear surrounding the things you're experiencing. Well, let me see. What do we have for cancer when it comes to love? Okay. So we have out with the old, in with the new. Some of you are doing some type of body transformation or just overall transformation. We have good karma. We have date casually. We have 24-7, best friends always together, always on their mind, separation anxiety. So there's someone you're very connected to here. And if you're in separation, that could be the reason for the fears, the anxiety. So let me see what's going on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I hate when that happens. The cars just fall on the floor. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So, ew, I just picked up fluff with the cards. All right. Cancer, the person you have in mind. What's the energy between cancer and the person on their mind? Show me the energies here. So here we have someone who's being quite mysterious. They're trying to run away, but they keep looking back at you. But I feel like they're trying to hide the fact that they're um, still interested. I got a similar message for Aries. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries or if you have Aries in your chart, but there seems to be this person who is trying to run away from you, but they keep looking back. They keep focusing on you. Could have something to do with the, the changes that you're making. Again, similar message to Aries, where there's a change happening and your person kind of keeps looking back at you because of this change. You have the lover's energy here, so a lot of you still feel connected to this person, but you're really taking back control. You're taking control of your life. Some of you are manifesting a lot of things. Um, you may be surprised at the things that you're manifesting, things that you're bringing into your life. It could be dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini or a Libra, but mutual energy, there is a definitely a balanced connection here, but someone, someone is kind of being blind to the situation, refusing to see something that's going on here. Okay. This person's next move, I really feel like they're trying to move on, but they're really torn. They're really torn between um, what to do. Because something about you keeps keeps pulling them back to you, keeps pulling their energy back to you, or having them having to keep looking at you, but trying to do it in a sneaky way, like sneakily watching you. So they're going to be kind of trying to figure out what to do. Your near future here, we have someone coming forward. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, some of you, but there is um, there's someone coming forward. This could be a new love offer, or it could be this person. I see that you are stepping into this confidence here, but you and this person may still be kind of tied to each other in a way. There's still some kind of tie here between the two of you. Three of Wands. I feel like a lot of you are just waiting to see what else is out there as well. A lot of you sense that this person is coming near, but you kind of, you're not really focusing much on it and you're definitely being more open to what's to come from the universe 
what's in store for you is what i'm hearing is that you're focused on what's in store for you manifesting a lot of things let me look at the main spread okay so cancer what's going on with cancer when it comes to love what is going on with cancer You're quite indecisive about this person and some of you do have like you have been in your head like thinking about this connection we have um scorpio energy wow this person may have an apology for you they have the page of cups but there's a lot of feelings some of you may have even have someone new crushing on you like having a crush on you and wanting to express that but there's someone here with a cup this cup is either, is either an apology or it's a first move from a new person. But there is transformation going on with this person that you've been dealing with. They have the death card. You guys have this cup to offer. You have this love to offer. But some of you may have other options or you may be looking to see what's out there. Like I said, not knowing who to go for or what to do, but having this hope for love. There's someone you're seeing as your soulmate, two of cups, but this person is cautious. This person may have some issues where they, they find it hard to trust. They're trying to, they're trying to give you their apology, their heart, but they're still cautious. They're still fearful. There's also this kind of playing hard to get type of energy going on between the two of you. I don't know if it's you or them, but someone's rejecting the offer. Someone's being distant and that's what's blocking the situation. Cancer, this is not to call you out, but this is a cancer trait. Cancer, the sign of cancer is very indirect. So you guys will kind of, you know, want someone, but not let them know that you want them because you kind of fear that they'll reject. So you just, you just make it seem like you don't want them in the first place. That way you, you avoid the rejection. So it could be that you're dealing with a fellow cancer or someone who also has cancer in their chart where one of you or both of you are being kind of indirect because there's this mixed message. There's this, I want to give my heart, but then there's this distance, like this reject rejecting of that same offer. It's almost like being unsure. So let me just reject that way. I don't get rejected type of thing. You find yourself having to make a decision. I feel like a lot of you want to just come out of this feeling of sadness and loss and you will start to get over someone, but you'll have a decision to make. Definitely have a decision to make. Let's see what we got here. Why the page of cups? Again, with the two of wands. This person is definitely making the decision to, to apologize making the decision to take the leap because this is after some thought this is after the three the two of wands so they may be watching or seeing you on social media and deciding when to make the move why the death card Okay, so they're very, very fearful. They're very stuck in their head. They think a lot. They may overthink. And they definitely have some trust issues. They can conjure up something in their head that, that you might be doing that you're not even doing. And that makes them fearful of trusting you. Why the Nine of Wands? They're working on these trust issues, though. They either feel like their offer is being rejected or there's a fear that their offer will get rejected so they're, they're holding back now, but they seem to be working on that fear with the death card. They're working on working through that, transforming, changing it, seeing things differently. Why the seven of cups?
Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are trying not to fall back into old patterns. You're trying to be strong. But there may be a temptation when there's someone you're viewing as a, as a soulmate. There's a past there, but you're viewing them as a soulmate. So it's like you're trying to make the right decision in love. And trying to make, trying to be strong. Why the two of cups? There's, I mean, this Eight of Cups is like a big deal here for you guys. The emotional distance, the running away from someone you have feelings for. The, like both of you are wanting to move on, but there's something pulling you back. I feel like Cancer, you have a major fear of falling for this person again. But I see that they're making a lot of changes and they also have a fear of falling for you. It's like both of you are doing the same thing here. Why the two of wands? This person is trying to make a decision, like seriously. They may feel like they're on the outside looking in. They want that emotional fulfillment. So they may be thinking, okay, these are the changes that I need to make to if I want the 10 of cups and not the five of pentacles. So they may kind of feel feel emotionally ready at times and at times they feel more rejected, more insecure and more low. So this may affect their decision on what to do. What do we have for this connection for cancer? We have not possible red lights. maybe not and something better so i really feel like this is your thoughts that it may be a bad idea there may be something better honestly i feel like both of you are the same thing like you're both fearful and you're both changing and you're both cautious that's that's what this fear is about it's like both of you have the same fear so it's like you both have cancer. Some of you, it's like you're dealing with someone who also has cancer in their chart because you're both fearing the same thing. You're both saying, okay, it's not a good idea to move, to move forward. It's not, a, it's, it's not an idea. It's not possible that this can work. It's not possible that my offer will be accepted. I see this person. If, if anyone's going to take the leap, it may be this person because they have the fool when it comes to their decision making here. And they have the, ace, the page of cups. Meaning they may come forward with this communication, this message, this love message. So if anyone's going to make a move, it's going to be them. But I feel like the both of you are looking at this like, I'm scared. And the thing is, the both of you are going through changes. You have the death card here three, well, twice. With this card, speaking of transformation. So it's like, I just see a mirror like you both. Fearing the same thing, and you both make the same changes. So you find <laughs> you find that you're both at the same spot, even though you, even though there's changes happened happening, you both at the same spot. You both made the same changes. You both have the same fears and doubts about this connection. You both like, okay, I've changed. I don't want to get hurt again, or I've healed. I don't want to get hurt again. Both of you are saying that. It's like, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like two people trying to have a conversation with a wall in between the both of you. It's like, and that wall is the fear. The fear is standing between the both of you. That's the only, that's the only thing in reality is a fear. It's kind of like when you want to go for your dreams and your goals and you could become successful because you see other people who are successful in the things that you want to do. But the only thing holding you back is fear. So the only thing that's holding this relationship back is fear that you both have. I don't see either one of you intending to hurt the other one. I just see both of you trying to protect yourselves. So we have interference. We have connection. Something's interfering with your connection, fear. We have communication, so that's good. We have this card that is a word I can't pronounce because it's Brazilian, but it means 
a missing piece obviously it means that there's something missing here so both of you are missing something but both of you are too afraid to put that puzzle back in there's a fear that it's gonna that the past is gonna repeat you're seeing them as the two of cups but they're seeing you as the nine of wands they feel like you're too scared to accept their offer they know that they're afraid to make the offer and it's to be determined let's see healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this could be both of you having a similar childhood where there was um a feeling of rejection or losing loss feeling of loss we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so this is the past effect in the both of you you guys is childhood feeling rejected as a child or re yeah rejected as a child so it's like grown up thinking that everybody's gonna reject you've experienced relationship where there was rejection so it's like i'm not going there again i'm not doing that again past life relationship you've known each other before there you go we have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so i feel like you both are seeing what you feel is red flags because we have red light here as well you're both seeing what you feel are red flags and you're both saying hell no i'm not going there even though the feelings are pulling you together what's this person's message to cancer their unspoken message I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you as a com as my complete whole self. You see? Both of you are making those changes, transforming, changing, but neither of you trusts that the other one can change. I'm not saying that it's impossible that you guys will never trust each other, but right now, this is your current energy. Right now, you guys are not trusting each other at all, you know. We have, I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. But you're not allowing them. And in a way that they kind of were not allowing you or, you know, there's just this mutual fear going on here. And I'm seeing fear as an entity on its own, like just this big old dark shadow, like just preventing you guys from loving each other. And that dark shadow was there in both of you guys' childhood. And it's just standing in the way, but we'll see what the future holds. It's always like in every area of your life, it's always the best thing to free yourself from fear. It's always the one thing that's standing in a person's way. Okay, get rid of that, and then you'll see what can come into your life. So, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, the Capricorn, Leo. Those are the main signs. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you, Cancer. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.